possibility of living with 33 items as an extreme minimalist is as follows. For those of you who don't know, I have been attempting a project 333 across everything that I own. I have been attempting to live with 33 items because I want to get the amount of items that I own to be as light as possible to fit into quite a small backpack. Truth be told, even if I wasn't going travelling, although that is the purpose currently, I would want to probably live like this anyway and that is because we live in a very very tiny apartment and there just isn't space for storage. Now I prefer to take some of what people might call the negatives of being an extreme minimalist. I take them in my stride because I think the positives outweigh the negatives. So for instance, yes I have to do a lot of washing because I don't have much. There is even a few items not currently on the bed today that were in the last video that I did that I will link down below if you would like to know what the 33 items are. But today we're going to discuss the reality of living with only 33 items and what problems can occur but also what's great, the positives and the negatives. I've also swapped my black jeans from my last video to the blue jeans because that was also the point of this Project 333 across everything I own. I wanted to learn through a kind of backwards minimalist decluttering. If I were to limit myself to 33 items, what items would I truly miss? And maybe that is a good starting point for me to really question what I have. Now, for those of you who aren't regulars to my channel, I only actually have about a further 50 items, 57 items anyway, we're at about 90 items in terms of my possessions that I own and I will actually show that in a future video for people who want to know what the other items are that I've currently put away, aren't living with, but let's get right into this. So what I've learned so far from tracking my items over the last six weeks and I've still got another around six weeks to go before I re-question what I will reintroduce is I straight away learned that I don't really like my black jeans. I liked the colour, I thought I liked the fit but they were just not as comfortable as these and I found myself reaching for these all the time. So a method I had in place was to track whether I continually kept missing these other items and if I did on about the third time I thought, oh I'm really missing that item, I'm really missing that item, I have made the odd exception and reintroduced something. So at the end of this video I'm also going to discuss what I've reintroduced, which is about four items, but I also definitely know beyond this three months I would probably miss another three or four items as well. A more realistic amount for what I would be comfortable living with is around 40 items. What have I learnt that I've missed? I continually kept realising that I am approaching winter, I only included this one fleece originally in the 33 items and I have been perhaps underestimating just how cold it does get in England, although I am lucky to live in a heated apartment. We'll show you the four items that I am missing. I actually have this second fleece. Normally I would alternate them while one is in the wash, however it has been so cold in the UK that I have actually been wanting to double layer them occasionally. So after about the third day of being cold I thought that is getting introduced into this project. I also usually do just wear my little black icebreaker socks but I realise that when I'm actually in the house my feet actually sometimes, although I do love being barefoot, my feet do occasionally get cold on an evening. So I've been missing having a woollen pair of socks on an evening to just kind of wear around the house. Now this third one I can't actually show you because I am using it and that is that as a video creator I did obviously have my little Sony kit that comes with a little tripod and normally when I've had more furniture in the past I could put my tripod on top of furniture to make it taller but we are getting less and less furniture. So as a result there's less and less things to stand my small tripod on and therefore I was missing being able to get different angles so I have learned that my 
tall tripod is absolutely invaluable to me as a video creator and I kept every time I was going to make a video thinking oh no I want that tripod to be able to do this because I don't want the extreme minimalism to be about denial but just what I can comfortably live with. I've learned that I definitely would like perhaps these three or four more items and the fourth one is actually a new one that I've decided just to start using right from the get-go and that is for Christmas I got a lovely cardigan wait right there and because I actually wanted to start using this cardigan straight away I just decided that I would introduce it into this project that I'm doing although it's now becoming more like project project 337 or whatever or 373 I feel like that's a song or something I don't know anyway they're the items I've been absolutely missing in this current three months what I've actually also realized actually through talking to many of you guys in the last video through the comment section is I did really think that I'd really thought about what I would truly, truly miss and what would bear essentials to me. What I'm actually thinking long term, if I'm really, really true with myself, is there probably would be a few more items that I would miss and I'm going to discuss what they are now. I do have a Kindle. Now when I was thinking about the weight of physically carrying things, I actually thought, well that's some extra weight that I don't really need. If I wanted to read I could lend from libraries, hotels or coffee shops with free books. I do really like my Kindle and I like being able to use the audiobook function through it. So this has a potential to definitely be reintroduced at a later date. I'm already thinking about it but I don't necessarily need it for three months and I suppose that's the that's the reality and the you know possibility that when you do say a project like this in the back of your mind you're always aware of perhaps you can survive three months without it well i could physically survive without it but i wouldn't want to is my tiny little sentimental items pouch but other things I actually didn't think about whether I would really miss them long term and somebody highlighted this to me in the comments and I thought actually mm, I'm not sure I could actually live without them and they are some kind of ear bud device whether it's airpods whatever it is and that is because I actually hate noise I hate excess noise <laughs> I hate really really noisy people. Me and my mum like to joke that really noisy people are vexations of the spirit. When I go to loud places and I don't want to hear that or I want to edit or work, these are invaluable. If not for listening to stuff because you're concentrating for the sheer noise cancellation, travelling on aeroplanes and things, you get you know noisy people behind you, they are invaluable and I really wasn't thinking beyond the three months for them. So I would probably, definitely reintroduce them. And another thing that somebody pointed out is sunglasses. I absolutely own a pair of sunglasses as part of my wider 90 possessions. However, this is actually for a wintertime Project 333. I mentioned that if it was summer, I would probably swap out my jeans for a pair of shorts. It's whether you want to do you know the project 333 for and across everything which I think would have been incredibly hard. I think when you see lots of people living with a very small amount of items the only way it's really possible is or realistically possible is if you're only living with one season at a time because if you have to start covering all the seasons you know it's a little bit unrealistic there you'd probably have to live from month to month and swap things out as they wore out which these have nearly wore out guys so i'll probably be decluttering these very soon oh and i nearly forgot i did actually reply to this in the comments but somebody was confused about the type of clothing as well that i included in my project 333 now i suppose and i didn't really think about this so it was quite interesting except if we live in the arctic circle cold to an extent is perspectival people that perhaps live more south than the uk would think the uk is cold but if you're living somewhere even more north from the uk 
you would think the UK is warm. I can honestly say I was only edging on being a little bit cold in the middle of December and January without one extra fleece. Now I've got this extra fleece, I'm warm enough. Even though I consider this to be a winter wardrobe, it perhaps wouldn't be a winter wardrobe to say somebody living in Alaska or the very northern regions of Norway. It may seem unrealistic to as a winter wardrobe for somebody living there, but to a degree that is perspectival as well. In the UK, on the north coast where I live, we have an average temperature of about four to five degrees at this time of year with a wind chill factor of about zero to two. If I layer what I am wearing with a vest, a t-shirt, and my long sleeve thermal t-shirt, then a linen shirt, I'm actually quite warm. If I have both my fleeces on, I'm actually quite warm. If I have leggings on under my jeans or under my linen trousers, again, I'm actually quite warm. I definitely wouldn't be, you know, being cold or trying to deny myself through doing this. What I actually love about being an extreme minimalist is just the clarity of mind of knowing where your items are at all times, how easy you can access them because you don't have other stuff getting in the way, the fact that it can all easily pack, you know, you're not going around buying new stuff all the time, usually keeping them till the wear out so you're saving money, you can pack your things at the drop of a hat and move wherever you like, it's the freedom you know, the financial freedom, the physical freedom of owning only a few items. For me, that far outweighs the majority of the time having choice about what I actually wear. The only really negative to being an extreme minimalist is constantly having to do your washing. But that is, for me, that is a small price to pay for all the other positives that come with it and the kind of freedom that it feels like. I am going to continue to track my items for the around six weeks that is left and see if there's anything else that I miss. I will obviously at the end of this six weeks be doing a full rundown of what I've really missed, showing you what I am definitely reintroducing. It may be that we do quite a big declutter from my 90 items, which obviously if you only own 90 items, if you say decluttered, 30 items, that is getting rid of 33% of what you own. Again, I'm, I'm liking doing it this way around to find out what I truly miss. And I will, before that six weeks, also show you all what the other possessions are so that you also know what I would potentially be giving up further from these items. And also, I am going to attempt, many of you know I got the new Patagonia bag instead of my Eastpac bag, which I sold. So this is the new Patagonia bag, which I mentioned I would probably get in place of the Eastpac bag because the Eastpac bag was awkward for me to carry. And it may actually be touch and go whether I do manage to fit these items in. So guys, I hope you have liked this sort of reality check on my Project 333. I don't think I've like gone that over within six weeks, you know, reintroducing sort of four items and potentially introducing three or four more at a future date. As of also, oh, I nearly forgot one thing. I did make an exception, although I don't want to fully reintroduce them yet. One day that I had Charlie, I did wear my trainers. So technically, my old little cheat there, if you want to call it that, I wore my trainers for one day because even though I included my barefoot trails even though I included my barefoot trail shoes for the project 333 because they were so new I'm not gonna lie I didn't want to immediately get them dirty walking little Charlie although I could have wore my actual barefoot trainers to do that I just decided I'm gonna make an exception and wear them trainers but as we all know I'm attempting to wear those trainers out so I didn't really feel like I had to include them in this like count of my Project 333 because really they're not going to be here eventually. So I hope you all enjoyed this honest update on how my Project 333 is going. Now Project 373. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for future content like this. Bye!